The DOT's plan calls for shutting down I-385 North and rerouting all that traffic onto I-26, which means if you want to get to Greenville, first you have to go to Spartanburg. Once you get to Spartanburg, you'll have to get on I-85 South which will finally take you to Greenville. That's going to add about 45 minutes onto your trip. Freightliner Chassis President says that even though vehicles like this hybrid bus may cost more initially, they eventually pay off with lower fuel costs. And that's causing a lot of customers to take a new look at hybrids. Rangers here at Cowpens hope the Ken Burns film will inspire more people to come see the history here in their own backyard. Not even the gray skies or rain could slow these runners down because they know that every person that crosses the finish line could bring them one step closer to curing breast cancer. Steve Dunning, Fox Carolina News. Riley's family says even though his time here is short, efforts like this toy drive mean that his life will have impact for years to come. Thousands of feet and dozens of paws pounded the pavement. Could be fun race. <laughs> at Greenville's ICAR campus. C-U-R-E-I-M-N-Q. -E to find a cure for breast cancer. Just hearing the word cancer is devastating. Angela Goodjoy beat cancer after being diagnosed four years ago. She says events like this race give hope to survivors and their families alike. It's a scary thing because you don't know what's going to happen. When you hear that word, you don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, keep the faith, be positive, everything will be all right. Organizers say these 5,000 runners have raised more than half a million dollars to fight cancer. <laughs> Kevin Dix ran with other members of his family. They entered the race to celebrate his mother-in-law's victory over breast cancer. It was a great environment, a great atmosphere. Everybody uh, here for for that one uh, cause. Not even the gray skies or rain could slow these runners down because they know that every person that crosses the finish line could bring them one step closer to curing breast cancer. Steve Dunning, Fox Carolina News. Balloons, presents, and cards, all to celebrate the life of a special little boy. He was amazing, very loving. He loved Thomas the Train. He loved exploring. Tabitha Hardison says her son always had a smile on his face. He was always friendly with everybody, never met a stranger. But as Riley approached his first birthday, his parents could tell something was wrong. And they first thought it was pneumonia. And I remember when they first said that it could be pneumonia, me thinking, oh my gosh, you know, this is the worst thing in the world. And then they came back and said, well, no, he doesn't have pneumonia. He has leukemia, which is a form of blood cancer. And I was going, let's go back to the pneumonia. Riley battled the disease for two years, spending much of his time in the hospital. His grandmother says he never let the treatments bother him, even finding time to flirt with his nurses. He called them his ladies. And when he got bored, he would tell, hey, ladies, where's my ladies? Riley's leukemia seemed to enter remission after a bone marrow transplant from his sister, Mina. Almost on our 100th day, they did some more tests, and it turned out that his cancer had come back and that there wasn't anything that they were going to be able to do. Now Tabitha Hardison is remembering Riley by helping other children who are ill. For the past two years, she has organized a toy drive for patients at the Children's Hospital in Greenville. Some of them are really scared, and to be able to talk to them, you know, as somebody that's been there and done that, you know, and just to be able to say, you know, for the kids, here's something to brighten up your day. Riley's family says even though his time here is short, efforts like this toy drive mean that his life will have impact for years to come. When I go up to the hospital and I leave, a song will come on the radio that I feel that he sent just for me, you know, just saying, it's okay right now, one day we'll be together again. All right, here's one. Thank you, sis. Remembering Riley by raising the spirits of other children. Steve Dunning, Fox Carolina News.